over time the output range has expanded and developed to now we've got quite a comprehensive range of a map pretty much for every expedition, camping trip that you'd want. Um, we go right from the dozer which is the super um, comfy family camping map um, right down to the super lightweight aeros and pneumos. Um, there's pretty much a mat in there for everyone's tastes and budgets. Self-inflating camping mats are made by getting two layers of fabric. Uh, the upper layer, uh, our upper layer, all have the logo on the top which signifies the top and then a base layer of fabric. Uh, there's various fabrics that different, different manufacturers use and various fabrics that we use but there's one um, similarity between them all is that they all have to have a special coating on the bottom. Now this can either be a coating or a lamination um, but it basically allows um, effectively a very big large oven or a very large heated surface to melt that plastic coating and adhere it to the foam. So when they're made you get a blank portion of foam in the shape of the foam that you need. You get two pieces of, of, of large fabric and you have a mould at the top and a mould at the bottom. If you imagine a cheese toaster, we're creating pretty much exactly the same thing. So the top layer and the bottom layer are the slices of bread and the part inside is the cheese. Uh, and then exactly the same way as a cheese maker happens, you push the whole thing together, you compress the foam as much as it can and eventually the two edges of fabric where there's no cheese or no foam in this case will stick together. Lift the mould up, bring it out and then it's all cut to size with a tolerance of, a, of, of the edge, uh, cut to size and that gives you your self-inflating camping mat. Inside a self-inflating camping mat uh, is open cell foam. It's exactly the same stuff as you'll find in a bath sponge at home. Uh, this stuff, once it's compressed, nice and easy to compress, but over time it'll expand back to its natural state um, and that inside the mat is basically what causes the self-inflation. To make some of our mats lighter we do what's called die cut which is basically a big stamp that takes a portion of the foam away um, and this can reduce the foam up to and basically make it up to 30% lighter. Unfortunately with that you lose the um, thermal efficiency of the foam because obviously uh, you can get convection currents within the, within the sort of die cut portions where the, your warm air uh, from your body mixes with the cold air from the ground uh, and can cause a kind of a multitude of cold spots for example.